Hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. Today's video is about how we harvest and store water on the homestead. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here, this is our front porch. You see we have a tin roof. And from time to time, we'll set up these five gallon buckets and these are food grade buckets that are designated just for rainwater and you can see the white clean flour sack towels that we've got closed pinned to them we'll set them up to capture rainwater or the way i like to put it to harvest rainwater but before we do that one of two things now if it's going to be a long good rainy day we'll allow the rain to clean the roof off first before we set the buckets out so that we we miss a lot of the debris and the dirt and and just have a cleaner product uh, before we even get started good but a lot of times my husband will come out with the water hose before we set the buckets up and just rinse it off a little bit and that'll give us a little bit of a head start and on good rainy days we can do this three or four times and you can see that it wouldn't be any trouble to get 75 or 100 gallons of water in a short amount of time it takes maybe a good hard rain less than 10 minutes to fill the buckets so it doesn't take much and it's just a, a simple kind of primitive little way to capture water when you don't have a gutter system and rain barrel set up now this water will go into the shop into food grade five, uh, 55 gallon drums and be filtered again or strained again I should say and be ready to use mainly for my soap making now but it's a backup in an emergency so when we take these full buckets over to the shop and pour them up we'll bring them back and set them up again if there's going to be enough rain for the day and we'll put fresh flour sack towels on them and start over and you might be wondering how in the world do we tote these heavy five gallon buckets over to the shop there's the transportation. <laughs> Makes the work easy. So I'm going to take you over and show you a few more setups that we have uh, as far as harvesting and storing rainwater around here. Here are the two food grade 55 gallon drums that we have in the shop. You can see my husband built a nice rack to put them on and we install spigots on them. And what we do is when we catch the rainwater off the front porch roof, in the five gallon buckets we bring it in here and we actually filter it through that funnel with another uh, straining rag of some sort usually a smaller uh, flour sack towel and you can see how we just we keep it here this is I use it mainly for soap but it's available for an emergency situation or whatever that we find a need to water the animals or something if if we find ourselves in that in that um, off-grid situation by chance but before we would open the spigot and allow it to pour into that bucket we would actually the first little bit would come out we'd allow it to go into the cup here because sometimes with a brass spigot there's a little bit of residue and you want to rinse that out and once it runs clear then you can put it in your bucket okay <laughs> my husband's cheap advertising there actually that's free as advertisement right there so this is actually our emergency supply of water it's uh, 275 gallons and we actually filled it from our community water but what we do is we use use out of it pretty regularly and we freshen it so that the water stays fresh so in the case that we do have a situation where there's we're not available we're not able to get water this won't be old stagnant water now under the tarp it actually has a screen over it and is, it is able to ventilate so it won't get stagnant that way but like I said we also use it and freshen it from time to time and so that's just another backup system that we have here on the homestead so if you look here this is my barn roof and you see there's my loft roof as well so you can see that quite a large volume of water can fall off of this roof now we don't have gutter systems so in the meantime we have positioned this trough where it catches a good amount of the the rain runoff now we could put several more down here we could actually put one of the taller ones here that would be a good choice as well but this is one that we had and so we've got this one set up Lily drinks out of it and we keep it freshened as well 
so with the hose but it is here to catch rainwater that's just another way to catch water on the homestead and one of the best things to clean water is UV light and this is on the south side of the barn so you can see that it, it gets a good amount of the sunshine to help keep it clean <music> So we're up in the barn loft and you see that here's two more 55 gallon food grade drums that we're going to use for water. Now there's no water in them yet, but what we'll do is we will fill them with our community water and we'll be able, because they're up in the loft, be able to easily siphon the water to put into the, uh, the animal drinking containers wherever they are down in the stalls or whatever. So it's just another small backup to having water on the homestead in the case of an emergency. It's not enough water to last us long term, but it will be enough water that we can gather our thoughts and come up with a plan for a longer amount of time to be able to, be able to provide water for the homestead. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some value out of it. And I also hope that it gave you some ideas on how that you may can harvest and store water where you are, homestead where you're at, and it'll help you be a little bit better prepared in case of an unexpected emergency or disaster. We don't have gutters yet. We don't have a well yet, but we knew that it was very important to start saving water. Now the water that we have here in in the barrels and the troughs we freshen it continuously we will use it out of the barrels and the troughs and refill it but in the case of a grid down situation or no water it's they're always going to be full and ready to use so hopefully we won't be caught off caught off guard too bad until we can do better and we absolutely love feedback at the cabin if you have some ideas that you would like to share with us as far as how you can serve and save water or if you have a question be sure to leave it in the comments below but I want to leave you with these beautiful words don't ever forget that your Heavenly Father loves you and I'll see you on the next video God bless